tied at one. Five on the power play in game one. This is their first power play. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a goalie stick. And my son is really into hockey and he loves more specifically the Providence Bruins and the Boston Bruins. And he's about five and a half years old and he's about a year tall. So um, he's been lately been playing with this little plastic goalie stick that uh, it's <laughs> way too small for him. Up with a little project, we can make a little wooden stick for him that's uh, more suitable for his size. So if you want to build this project, um, what you need to do is take measurements of your son and um, just adjust accordingly. But uh, this size pretty much works for him. You see, I painted it up really nice and. Um, the material that I've used is um, whatever I had laying around the shop. In this case, I had a couple of pine pine boards, I don't know, about six inches wide by three quarter inches. And um, I know it's not a suitable material for hockey sticks, but you know, let's just face it, it's a little toy. He's going to be knocking around with it around the house. So let's get to it. All right, here's a stick that I've already made. And what I'm going to do is just to simplify things, I'm just going to trace it right on the wood. And, uh, but I'll go over some measurements, quick measurements, nothing too difficult. Um, basically, this is the layout line. And what we have here and there, where it gets wider at the stick, that's pretty much uh, about a 45 degree angle. And what I've done was, if you can see here, just make a 45 degree angle with, with a finder and just trace that on like that. And you have your little angles there. Now, the stick itself is about an inch and a quarter wide. Um, yeah, about an inch and a quarter wide that comes down the middle of the board. Then it goes out to a 45 and it gets wider to about about three and three quarters of an inch and just continues down. We'll go over that later. But right now the cuts that I want to make um, are the two outside cuts that, that'll give me the, the three and three quarter inch wide board. We'll cut this right down like that, three and three quarter inches, and then we'll worry about the inch and a quarter um, handle later. And then we'll make uh, 45 degree cuts. Okay, so let's go over to the table saw. All right, we're at the table saw. We're about to make our cuts. Hey, check that out. Go Bruins. All right, let's make our first cut. Yeah, I set up my fence to give me the exact cut that I need on the outside of the thicker portion of the stick. And let's get to it. Adjusted my fence, cut the other side, and let's do it. All right, now that we have our outside. Um, measurement right there for the wider portion of the bottom of the goalie stick. We're going to concentrate on the 245s right there. And it's a little tricky, so, um, but not too difficult. Let's get to it. All right, what I've done, I got rid of the fence and I set my blade angle to about 45 degrees. And I have it to a height which would cut on the piece to about an inch and a half. So when I have everything all set up and lined up, let's get to it. first cut right there. Okay, now it's important to flip the piece over to get the corresponding 45 degree in the right direction, so don't forget about to do that. Here we go. There are our two cuts, our two 45s. Alright, now that I have my 45s cut out, what I'm going to do is cut the handle portion out, and it's very important to note that when you're cutting this on a table saw that you don't want to overcut, have any undercut mocks on the material that you want to keep. So what I'm going to do is probably go up to about a quarter of an inch and then stop and then pull it out and then cut it by hand. Here we go. Right, now we'll cut the other side. Okay, now we'll do the rest by hand. All right, I got my little dovetail saw here. I'm just gonna do a little bit. As you can see, I did get a little bit of an undercut on that side, but that's no big deal. So we're just gonna cut the rest by hand. 
it's not going to take much. All right, now it's time to finish off the bottom of the hockey stick. And basically, it's pretty much um, this is where the magic happens. Um, <laughs> um, it's about a 60 degree cut with my my little um, miter slide here. And I'm just going to run it through. I made a line already. And magically, look at that. That's a beautiful thing. Flip it over. All right, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach these two pieces. Um, there's a number of ways you can do this, obviously. You can use just glue, or you can use some biscuits over there and glue it up and clamp it up. You know. But I'm a little bit impatient, so I just want to just want to get it done. So we're going to use some pocket screws. Um, the way I did it on the other one is I... Um, you know, I use two on one side and one on the other side, which is plenty. So um, we're going to do that here. All right. Now what I want to do is just make a couple of witness lines, nothing scientific about it. Just make maybe one over there and one over there. And we'll flip it over and we'll do one probably in the middle, the center of those two right there. So let's get this out of the way. Okay. Now that, now that I have it clamped, I'm going to start drilling. Here we go. Now, there's our little pocket screw right there, if you can see it. Now we'll do the other one. Okay, as you can see, I have my two little pocket screws. I'm going to flip it over and put one in the center. Alright, you get the idea of it now? Beautiful. Alright. What we're going to do is set it up like this and drive them on home. I'll put a little bit of glue on it first, though. All right. Let's put a little bit of glue. Uh, let me do this side first. And line it up. Just about like that. Now, what I like to do is I like to clamp the two pieces together so they're flush with one another. This being pine, you want to kind of make sure you don't make any dents in the wood. We'll get it close. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now we'll switch our bits. Okay. We'll put one in there. You see where this is going, right? And then we'll put the last one in. And that's strong enough. The glue will dry and it'll be strong enough. Now you see where we're going with this, see? Beautiful, right? Alright, let's go over to the workbench. Okay, here we are in another area. Um, basically, this is what you have, the finished product. Now, what I've done was I just took a belt sander and rounded all the edges on it. Um, you can certainly use a router with a round over bit, but uh, I just quickly went over it, over this one, with a, a belt sander just to round over the edges and make it all sweet. And what I did was, this being pine, I know it's not the ideal material for hockey sticks, but it's what I had laying around. And um, what I did was to, to um, strengthen up the surface, what I did was I put a few coats of polyurethane on it and sanded it down just to give a, you know, a, a stiff outer shell. Then I put some um, shellac primer on it and a few coats of white and a few coats of yellow on it and some tape to make it look like uh, the authentic thing. And uh, that's pretty much it. And I actually had, you know, you can do this at home too, I had a little sign go Bruins, go P Bruins, and I cut out the lettering right here, and I just taped it to the bottom of the stick and spray painted it, and voila, you get some little graphics there. So it's a fun little project. It's Again, it's not regulation, obviously, but it's, uh, you know, my son loves to knock around with it around the house, and, um, you know, hey, go P Bruins. <laughs>